Fox 10's investigative reporter Justin Lum has been digging into the court records to learn more about this suspect. Nicholas Cowan, he has a lengthy criminal history dating back to 2005 and most recently served time in federal prison. What have you learned? John, in 2018, Nicholas Cowan pleaded guilty to a serious drug charge in federal court. Initially, he was one of 15 defendants indicted in 2017. And according to court records, many of his convictions are drug related. We've just learned from the Yavapai County Attorney's Office that Cowan has two open cases being prosecuted. He just appeared in court on Monday and has a trial set for October. Now he's on the run from Phoenix Police. This is the last known mugshot of 35 year old Nicholas Cody Cowan, arrested by the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office in May of 2020. Court records say he manufactured and distributed drugs, endangered a child with drug manufacturing equipment, and threatened a DCS worker. At the time, Cowan had completed an 18 month federal prison sentence after pleading guilty to possession with intent to distribute heroin. He was on 36 months of supervised release. His probation officer would petition for that release to be revoked. In May of 2021, a judge ordered for Cowan to be in the custody of the Bureau of Prisons. But it's unknown how long he's been out of prison up until now. Arizona Department of Corrections records show Cowan served prison time from 2006 to 2010, convicted of multiple charges including aggravated DUI, aggravated assault, and weapons misconduct. In 2010, he was arrested and convicted for having drug paraphernalia in Maricopa County. Federal court documents also reveal Cowan's attorney asked for his client to be given probation and be placed in a drug treatment program before his sentence in 2018. The attorney cited, cited a mental health history of schizophrenia. Again, if you have any information, Phoenix police urge you to call 911. If you see him, do not approach. He's believed to be armed and dangerous. Live in the studio, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News. Okay.